guys, it's Misty Eyes, and I'm here with a new Ask Misty. This question is from It's Mixy. Kind of sound like It's Misty, but with X's. All right, why do you still tell girls to get silicone? Really, Misty? You know how dangerous it can be. Definitely get FFS where they can shave your bone, not silicone where you look like a monster a few years forward. Again, axed by It's Mixie. All right, Mixie, the answer is very simple. Any surgical procedure you get, whether it be something simple like Botox or something simple like a breast implant, or maybe um, any surgery ever. Anytime they cut you open and or alter your body in a physical way, there is there can be complications and it can be dangerous. Now, if you were to go and have open heart surgery from a great certified medical professional, your risk is probably going to be smaller. Now, if you're going to go any old person doing open heart surgery in hotel rooms, the risk might be much greater. Now, when I suggest silicone, I do not suggest going to get black market silicone. I do not suggest going to pumping parties. I do not suggest going and getting as much as you can afford pumped into your body at one time. I would only suggest going and getting silicone from a trained medical professional. There are certain parts of your body, for example, your hips. How is a woman, a trans woman, going to get hips without silicone? How? How is a trans woman going to get an ass without silicone? Okay, granted, there are butt pads or butt um, implants, but you fall down a flight of stairs, or get in a car accident, or even ride a really rough roller coaster, your butt implant can be completely dislodged. Is it on record? Good, okay. This is my implant flipping backwards. Okay, I don't think an implant's supposed to do that. It shouldn't be able to flip. What? The, in my opinion, and in many medical professional opinions, the only safe thing to do for hips and ass is silicone. If it's done correctly, all right, now think of it this way. This is your seven layers of skin, all right? It's markers, but pretend it's skin. I've been to pumping parties and I've seen the people take the injection needle I mean, we can do it like this and put it through the skin and pump it into the muscle. I even heard her say, oh, we're pumping it into her muscle so it doesn't go anywhere. Um, the second you break through the skin, it goes anywhere it wants in the body. It can migrate to your knees. It can migrate to your toes. It can migrate to your lungs. That's super dangerous. But... If you go to a medical professional, they're gonna pump it in the seven layers of your skin. For example, they're gonna take the needle and inject it into your skin. And I remember when I first had silicone put in my chest, I remember I was looked freaking out because the silicone was coming out of my chest. And I was like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Glue it shut, glue it shut. And the doctor was like, no, 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 no. You can't glue it shut. Because if your body is rejecting the silicone, then I've put in too much. I mean, no, 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 glue it shut, glue it shut. He's like, no. Because if you bump or push or squash it, for example, if you got your butt done and you sat on it, it would dislocate it and lodge it and move it and it would be like a ball inside that skin and then it would flatten out and move it. That's not safe either. Your silicone can only be injected into your skin within those seven layers and it has to sit for at least two weeks before you put in more. 
because it develops scar tissue and it encapsulates that silicone. So it doesn't just randomly float th freely throughout your body. Now, I have seen tons of goddesses who've had amazing work done before I was born. And it hasn't, what'd you say? Look, and they don't look like a monster. I had my lips, my cheeks, and my forehead done in the year 2005. That was 11 years ago. My chest and my hips and my ass were done between 2007 and 2008. Do I look like a monster? How many years is this to look like a monster? Because to me, if your silicone is going to migrate, or if it's going to, if your body's going to reject it, it would be done probably before the year's over. For example, piercings. How many times, if your body's going to reject a piercing, it's going to migrate out of your body within the year, not 10 years later. And I do appreciate you warning girls about the dangers of silicone. Yes, absolutely. 100%, a million times percent. Yes, silicone is dangerous and can be dangerous. That's why you have to be very careful about who you go to. The person I get my silicone actually helps assist the plastic surgeon that did my tummy tuck. That's how I found him. He's a medical trained professional. You're looking at silicone as if it's black or white, good or bad, and that's not the case. Yes, silicone can be very dangerous. Yes, girls can die. Taj Mahal, for example. Erica Andrews, for example. Silicone going into their lungs. Very bad. But not all state cases of silicone are bad. Now, you talk about FFS. Oh my God, FFS, if every girl that did drag or every girl that w became trans could get FFS, if there was a medical program, that would be the miracle problem solver right there. To transform your face into a more feminine features, sign me, where do I sign up for that? I want that. That's a $40,000 procedure, sometimes more. What drag queen do you know that has $40,000? I don't. It costs more money to do drag than you get paid for doing drag. So you want drag queens to save up $40,000? Or future trans women to save up $40,000? Um, yeah, that would be the best solution. But then again, all surgery has dangers. You could die getting FFS. But not only that, you could shave your bones so thin that you get a car accident and your bone is shattered. Is that truly the best solution? It's a solution that I would want. It's a solution I do want. If I had $40,000, I would sign up right now and get FFS today or tomorrow, the house down. But that's not an affordable option. I'm giving affordable options to girls that need to feel secure. I'm giving affordable options to girls that don't want to commit suicide. I'm giving affordable options for girls to feel safe and comfortable in their skin. I'm giving affordable options to girls that are afraid to use the bathroom because they're going to get beat up because of bathroom scandals. If you need facial feminization to soften your cheeks or get cheekbones or get more plump lips, absolutely 100%, I'm going to tell you to go to a medical trained professional and get silicone. So, Miss Mixie, if you're offended by the fact that I have repeatedly told people to get silicone in my videos, you're going to be upset again because I'm going to say it again one more time. I 100% stand by the fact that I believe in silicone, but I will admit it can be very dangerous, just like any surgical procedure. And I will also admit there's too many people doing black market silicone and it's too dangerous. We had a girl in Miami pumping rubber cement into people. That's fucking ludicrous. Not safe, 
not good at all. But yes, I am a person that got silicone. And yes, my future and current drag daughters and sisters and trans friends I recommend the only person that I trust in South Florida to get their body work done, who works with my plastic surgeon that did my tummy tuck. Thank you for your question. Loving you, Zizi.